What's up, y'all? If you're looking for that Justin Timberlake 2020 experience, uh, the iTunes link is in the description below. This is just my review. You don't have to watch this, but since you're on here, you might as well check it out. Yeah, so before I get into, into the review, if you haven't heard the album or uh, bought it yet or pre-ordered it, you can stream it. So it's a live stream. You know, you can stream it. I may put that link down there, but you could just Google it and stream the album before you buy it. You know what I'm saying? So... With that being said, anybody who watches my reviews, you know how I do. What I do is I go over the song first, with well, the songs first, and then at the end I give a little slight review. With that being said, enough talking. Let's get into it. Okay, the first song, uh, "Push Your Love Girl," a great song, man. It has a lot of feeling to it. You know what I'm saying? It has like an old school feel to it, but it's very catchy. I like that a lot. I, I played that a couple times. Um, "Spaceship Coop." I like this song a lot, real laid back, vocally, he did a, a great job on this song, um, and I'm feeling that beat a lot. Um, Next, Let the Groove In, I actually like this song, it's very different, you know what I'm saying, but it is dope to me, it's different, but in a good way, Um, and I like the beat a lot, you know what I'm saying, very catchy. Next is Mirrors, how could you not like this song, man, well put together track, you feel me? Uh, I'm going to leave it at that Great song And Blue Ocean Floor Another smooth track You know what I'm saying it, It's pretty It's pretty good Um, I put this on, this, on the list Because it, it caught my attention You know what I'm saying But With that being said uh, That's it for me I like 5 out of 5 To me I feel like this This um CD It had like an old school feel to it Um, I believe either you're going to like it Or you're not like I said, I like half of the album. That's not bad. Uh, but, um, yeah, that's it for me. Uh, some of the songs I just wasn't feeling, um, you know, that, that were outside of the box. Uh, a couple of them was produced by Timbaland. I really wasn't feeling the beat, some of them beats, honestly. Um, of course, JT has a great voice. He, he tried to do his thing on some of them, but he was singing pretty good. But, you know, them beats just wasn't clicking with me. And I know it was a Timbaland beat because I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> all the extra stuff but yeah the songs that I I did like I liked a lot uh those five that I said I did like a lot I still think a uh, future sex love sound is is better than this in my opinion you know what I'm saying I like that a lot especially that love stone after I heard to see that I went back to play that just just because I just want to hear it again so um to me I think the album's cool I think uh Die Hard uh Justin Timberlake fans may love it it just depends on those other other songs. And yeah, I'm probably the only person in the world who didn't like suit and tie. I just I don't know, man. I just didn't get the wake up something done and this good love. I just can't I can't get down with that. <laughs> I ain't hating like Kanye, but I, I just don't I just don't like the song, man. But uh I mean it got five when the beat broke down and with the Jay Z part, but you know, that's just my opinion. Folks gonna be typing. Man, you don't know good music. You don't like suit and tie. No, I don't. I really don't. But um, all seriousness, uh, this song, the CD, like I said, those five songs I did like, I liked them a lot. I try. I played the CD three times actually, just to to make sure, cause you know I don't like doing reviews like that and, and not being sure, especially on R and B uh CDs, cause sometimes I go back and I'm like, dang, I don't said this on the review, but this is a pretty solid review for right now. Uh, only like five songs, man. Uh, was I disappointed? I, the songs I, I like, I like a lot. So the other five, you know, it's like you try to do something different, and I really wasn't feeling that. So with that being said, um, my favorite song on the album will have to be. It's kind of hard because I like. That's not a song, by the way, but <laughs> I like Spaceship Coop a lot. Mirrors is, is dope. But I might go with Let the Groove in, man, just because it's different, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just because it's different. So, yeah, I go with uh, Let the Groove in. And, uh, yeah, let me know what's your favorite song. Um, What would you rate the uh, album 1 to 10? And uh, do you think this is best work? Or what's your favorite Justin Timberlake album? You know what I'm saying? Again, this is just my review, my opinions. I know people be getting mad, especially die, die Hard fans. They, oh, man, if I was in your face, we could fight. Okay, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Let it go. You let it go, you know what I'm saying, that's just my opinion, a lot of people, I, I'm sure will like the CD, 
you know what I'm saying? It just wasn't for me. The whole CD, half of it was for me, but the other half wasn't. So, yeah, comment. Let's talk about it. Uh, if you like the video, make sure you subscribe. Hit me up on all the um, social networks. I have the links in the description below. Um, if you think you would like my personality, I have a vlog page, a vlog channel. That's the first link down there. You know what I'm saying? Where I'm just doing everyday stuff and I'm going to the studio shooting videos or just comedy skits. All that stuff is a real funny page. Subscribe to that. Music channel. Everything you see in there, uh, hit me up. And if you do follow me on Twitter or something, tell me one of my videos brought you there. That way I can follow you back and shout you out. And I appreciate the view and a salute to y'all, man. Make sure you comment and hit that like button. This the shit I ever wrote. Fuck it.